This is Mr. Mountain Dew with the review of the T-Mobile G1. This is my two-day review. Um, so the reason I'm doing a two-day review is because I've got experience with the G1. Um, this is the first one that I've actually owned. Um, I I love the screen features where they got three separate screens like that. And the browser feature was pretty fast. I moved it over to the other screen. You can download applications. They're all free for the moment, but they're thinking of adding charges to a lot of them. And that's a feature I'm going to get to in, actually, right now. The top status bar, you'll notice icons up here, and they will say things like, you've got a message, um, <laughs> messages, system alerts, all that stuff, and it'll tell you in the top bar, and to get to there, you just grab the status bar, and you drag it down, and it brings you this menu. Down here, we've got all the rest of the icons. You can download a lot of applications, but unfortunately, to play videos, you have to download the video player. It does have a lot of interesting games. So far, the best I've seen is Pac-Man. Um, you can download Facebook. Oh, i got to look at the screen. they got the barcode scanner, which is really neat. You go to the store, and you scan the barcode on an item, and it Googles it. And what it'll do is tell you what prices they sell for in other places. And an another good game is Bonsai Blast. That's a really good one. It's pretty much like Zuma on the, com on the PC. And the Maps feature features GPS, but I suggest turning um, the GPS satellites on. It may drain your battery a bit, but it's well worth it because if you're driving around a lot using the GPS, you'll probably have it on a, on a car charger anyways. And that's another thing. This The G1 doesn't have very significant battery power. If you leave it off, then it won't be using all that much battery. But being on and playing around with it a lot, you can get you can drain the battery in a little less than 15 minutes. Watch, more like 30 minutes to the most two hours. Um, I'm gonna do my pattern so you can't see it. Because a lot of people I know will be watching this and trying to get my pattern so they can get in there. Um, the messaging feature that was really nice. It's similar to the iPhones where it looks like it's um, instant messaging, iChat. Um, I'm just going to choose a messaging, oh it's already there, um, with T-Mobile. And it doesn't display any, so I'll show you, it's um, like an IMing type of deal where it'll feature it more like an IM than, a, in, than an SMS. But one thing I didn't like, it didn't have an on-screen keyboard. For everything you type, you have to open it up and use the keyboard. And I found it that they have a trackball, even though it's a touchscreen phone, which uh, seemed pretty useless to me. But uh, it ca it comes in handy for a couple of game for a couple of the games, or if you don't want to get fingerprints all over the screen. Um, and by the way, when I unpacked this, there was a piece of plastic right behind there on the back and that was um, the worst part to get because I kept pulling and I'm like what is it attached to and so yeah and also another awkward thing is the way that it opens it opens like that but it's really it's really neat but fairly awkward um, the call quality was very nice I didn't get any I didn't get all that much audio hiccup in the background. Um, it is a MyFaves phone, if you didn't know that already. And we have the calendar feature, which also syncs with your Gmail calendar. And you've got another screen where you can add a bunch of icons, which I don't know anyone that'll stick all the icons on the desktop and take the time to switch screens to take a look at it. But there you have it, my two-day review of the T-Mobile G1.